Hello Capricorn. Well, it looks like the universe is sounding the call for a new connection to come in. And of course, just as a good thing happens, the past tries to re-enter as well. Let's dig in to see where this goes. <music> This is a Capricorn Tarot reading. It's a general reading that's usually between two energies. But sometimes three show up. Sometimes even four. Check out Leo's reading this last week if you want to see four. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you guys today. Ah, nice. Number one, the call. Honor the whisper of your soul. Hmm. Um, for someone that has been out of touch with their spirit guides or higher self for a while, it's time to get back in touch. Okay. Start of a new and powerful cycle. What is the complementing energy for the call today, please? A weird cut but okay focus on the light number 37 reduces to a 10 so this is a full cycle coming all the way back down to a one again hmm full cycle with spirit so we want to go here okay show me what's going on with Capricorn please So this is basically a call to focus on your soul path a little bit more than any, like a little more than your 3D reality. Hmm. What's going on with Capricorn, please? Okay, Ten of Wands try to flip out there. I feel like you had a lot of shit going on. Okay. And then there is the Wheel of Fortune, where the, where the universe is the agent of change. Boom. Empress, card of Taurus and Libra, first card out. Four of Wands, Six of Cups, Devil, there you are. You are showing up in your energy. Fucking love this. <laughs> Princess of Cups, Eight of Swords, Princess of Pentacles. So I feel like you, this is you, this is the person you're connecting with, this is the situation. It, it, it's, it's a very much an abundant connection and it does actually feel like this person recognizes you as an empress. I'm also getting like a hard worker, every, like everything you touch turns to gold kind of thing. Everything you touch turns profitable for the company, for example. Okay, that's what the empress does, all right? You are showing up in your energy a little in your head though we're, we're gonna find out why personal stability has really been a thing for you and you seem to be just freaking nailing it this person this could be a past life soulmate with the six of cups okay it also could be the return of someone in a current lifetime we're gonna figure that out because it looks like you've got some messages coming in from them it feels like it might be like, because Princess of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles could be like text, email, DM kind of thing. Um, I feel like this is going to happen first. Well, because see, she's keeping her hands cover over her cup like she's blocking it. Like the cup is here and she wants to see what happens in this conversation before she m removes her hands and pushes the cup forward. Okay. Let's see. I feel like y'all are going to meet at an outdoor activity. Outdoor something. Hmm. And there is a new beginning of love. Sun, Ace of Cups coming straight for you. You don't even see it coming straight for you. You have moved recently. A big relocation actually. And kept silent to yourself about something that hurt you pretty bad previously. Could have been a previous boss, even a father. A lot of sadness around that, whatever that was. Let's get into it. 
the call to this connection. Show me the Empress, please. Let's expand on this situation. The Empress, please. Prince of Cups. Death card of Scorpio. Libra, the Justice Energy. There's that King of Pentacles, Taurus. Taurus and Libra, Taurus and Libra. Prince of Swords, Fool. <laughs> Seven of Wands. Temperance, card of Sagittarius. Mm, okay. I feel like this person is going to come back around. So it is someone you know. Okay, getting strong on the Scorpio vibe there. After a particularly burdensome cycle with them. Okay. It looks like a whole friend zone barely gave to the situation with you and even could have ghosted you altogether. Still getting a little bit of that work vibe. So wanting to manifest a new beginning based in truth. Okay. So coming in to transform the situation to balance up. Okay. To make things move quickly and, and take a risk in a new direction. But this is you. Block, pour out the cup. <laughs> so, I mean, I saw something under there that really hurt you before. Okay. So in your rise, in your success, because you are grounded in your energy, Capricorn. Okay. It, this is your rise to success. And this is telling me that when you rise in success, you know how exes, when you're doing well, it, it's like they pick up on a disturbance in the force and they're like, oh, I should contact so-and-so and see what she's up to. Right when you're doing well, you hear from them out of nowhere. It's a little bit of that. <laughs> It's a little bit of that. Show me the four of wands for Capricorn, please. Show me the four of wands. Emperor. Ooh, you are manifesting you a divine masculine girl. Yes. It's going to scare you a little bit. So you're going to take it slow and it's going to be okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. Am I, okay. So we've got three energies on the board now. Typical. Okay. Show me the devil, please. Card of Capricorn. Show me the devil. I, I love how this emperor's energy is very, it's very Aries. <laughs> it's very Aries. It's very, this is happening and it's happening now and poof, it's happening now. Show me the devil, please. Show me the devil. Yeah, you're crushing it. And wherever you're making your money, wherever you're generating wealth or abundance, the Eight of Pentacles, Sun, and you are so in like, you're even like taking the time to stop and look and like, look at the good job you've done. You know? So it's like, focus on the light, Empress, Sun. Don't focus on the dark past <laughs> okay don't focus on the past focus on the light show me the eight of swords please show me the eight of swords ace of wands prince of wands yep ten of swords lovers so what i'm seeing there's faded connection with this emperor okay there's a faded connection with this emperor and that's not this person. It's not coming off as this person. Because if this person up here, I originally read as this person, if this emperor is this person, okay, then this is someone from your childhood or a past life soulmate, okay? It could be when this emperor comes around and you're in the middle of doing all your cool stuff that this Scorpio, that this water sign tries to come back around again. And as things are starting to percolate between the two of you, this person feels the disturbance in the force and tries to come back. And then you're like, block. And then you continue with this emperor. <sighs> emperor tends to win. Emperor 
tends to win. He's played the game. He has mastered the elements, which is why he is the king of all of the kings. He has mastered earth, fire, air, water. Okay. Show me the six of cups for this person, please. Show me the six of cups. Palace of Swords, Ten of Swords, Palace of Coins, Five of Cups, Four of Wands, Four of Wands, this is the Emperor, okay. So it looks like he actually went through um, uh, breaking up of house and home himself. He could have been married. Um, it looks like, <coughs> where's my water? This is implying that he was, he could have been living the high life with the feminine that he was with. Because the Palace of Swords is the equivalent to the top level penthouse. Okay. So he could have been rolling with the finer things in life. And then after the door slammed closed on this with the Ten of Swords, he might have had to move home again, for example. Some place that was less flashy and more comfortable than flashy than what he was in. There was some sadness here about the loss of this connection, okay? So he was in it to win it in some to some degree, okay? But it looks like his energy has stabilized from that sadness, after, after that sadness, okay? Show me the Princess of Cups. Show me the Princess of Cups. Uh-huh. <laughs> Three of Cups, world. Seven of coins. I feel like you guys are going to start as friends first. Okay. That is, that, that, this, this tells me, this, this does imply dating with the Princess of Cups, Three of Cups. Sure. It does imply dating. Um, they really like, they really like conversation with, they like listening to your stories. You tell good stories. They like listening to you. Okay. Um, but this dating friend zone thing is only going to last for a short while, then this is going to transition into a long-term garden to tend with a seven of coins after that. Show me the princess of pentacles, please. They think you have really pretty eyes too. I'm hearing mesmerizing. Well, that's nice. I'll take it, shoot. Not even my reading. Page of cups twice, nine of wands. Two of Swords, Five of Coins, Ten of Cups. Okay, he may ha okay, he may have a knee-jerk reaction to put a wall up when emotions start to kind of surface a little bit. Um, you should know it's a knee-jerk reaction because of what has happened to him before. What he is, he has lost the ten what he believed was the Ten of Cups, long-term happiness with another person. Before, doesn't look like it ended happy for sure. Okay, he's going to tell you the truth about this. Ace of Swords, he's going to tell you the truth about this. What is the truth? We're here. Might as well just figure it out, right? What is the truth of what happened here? Seven of Swords. King of Coins. Queen of Swords. Oh, okay. So this looks like family money, generational wealth. Okay. Um caused toxicity in their connection it could have been that the feminine he was with like her parents were wealthy like they started a business from the ground up and created substantial wealth together and the mother could have been an air sign okay um but it looks like this king of pentacles his heart was somewhere else okay it could have resulted in a child it could have resulted in a child it looks like this because it looks like it's her child. Show me the result of the Seven of Swords, Queen of Cups, please. Show me the result. Mm. <sighs> it, it, it does, it, okay. It looks like they could have had a, a nasty divorce and this is like empire money, you know what I mean? It's not just kingdom money, it's empire money. And dividing that group makes just things a knockdown, drag out fight, right? Um, I feel like the dad 
is well whose heart was somewhere else has already already officially in connection with someone else they could have been an affair partner they are a true pair they are a true pair it could have been an affair partner or it could have been the new girlfriend immediately after the divorce was finalized but still like the smoke hasn't cleared you know what i mean <sighs> wow it's really specific Okay, I'm going to head over to the extended. I'm going to see what's going on with this masculine in his current energy. And so what I'm saying is if she came from money and he didn't, he came from more humble beginnings. That means he got bulldozed in the divorce. Okay, he, 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 it's kind of, I'm hearing that whole, you came in with nothing. I'll make sure you leave with nothing kind of, it was really brutal. Um, so he's, these knee jerk reactions here of when he starts feeling feelings, cause he had feelings for the person that he was with. He had feelings. He had a 10 of cups. Okay. So when you see him knee jerk react, just hold space for him so he can properly communicate what happened and why he's doing what he's doing. All right. Let's go see some more over in the extended. I'm going to see what's going on with him and his current energy his near future and the final outcome of the connection between you in this lifetime. So if you're interested in any of that information, along with messages from spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below and I will see you guys over there. Bye. Ooh.